uh, about five after seven in the morning. Going to Denver first. I got me a rental car, a nice Chevrolet, and I got my GPS working, so I know right where I'm going to be going. And it's getting late in the afternoon. It's uh, about 4:30. Got uh, arrived about an hour ago, and it took about 45 minutes to get luggage and everything. So I'm going to pick this up maybe later. I don't know. Uh, just if I see anything interesting, I'll shoot it. But. Right now, I'm just on the freeway, and I'm driving in a strange state, and I don't want to be videoing. Okay, Bye. the roads aren't that bad. I, I was a little worried. I thought it would be a lot more traffic, but then again, it is a weekend. <sighs> it's only 100 and some odd miles from the airport to his house, so it's not too bad of a drive. Uh, somebody took away the mountains, though. I mean, where are the hell are they? <laughs> it feels really strange to look all the way around and not see a mountain someplace. Now oh, they had to come and get me. I got lost. Um... This is pretty <laughs> off the beaten track here. Um, Neil and uh, John, Neil uh, 
Redmond and John Buxton came down to, to guide me back to Neil's house. Yeah. That's the smallest? Yep. That sure looks like it. And it doesn't go by modern seven and a halfs. These are all tri-corner well, hats right here. Was that with wig or? No. Just regular. Well, wow, these are cool too, the ones with the white. Okay. As per your painting. Oh, wow. There's the waistcoat. This is the clothing, by the way, that was made for uh, the sculpture. And as you can see, it's all hand-sewn eyelets in the back. Mm -hmm. Just like in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that movie uh, Revolution with uh, Al, Pacino? Al Pacino. That was really well done. That's a really dark movie. Yeah, but it was, well, it was, it's an anti-war movie. Yeah. And here's your... Oh, that's nice. Yep. There's your oh, drop front knee breeches. Knee docker, knee knockers. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Look at the de so detailing on that. I'll have to steam the hat to fit you, John. A no, Dave? I'll steam yours, too. Oh, my. There's the tricorn. Tri I've got, got my own, too, so, you know, whatever you guys want to do. And what size is this one? Seven and a half. My picture. Right, seven and eight. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll fit, John. It, you tell me. I wear almost a size 8. Ow! <laughs> but I almost wear a size oh, 8. Oh, man, that's nice. Oh, wow, look at that. And there's the coat. <coughs> <coughs> now, let me ask you a question. The coat would be... Wouldn't they sleep in the coat and stuff like that? Wouldn't it be a little wrinkled as time went by? Sure. Gonna be all beat to hell. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so sleep in this outfit tonight, will you? Oh, it's out in the snow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to wipe your ass with it. You know. Excuse me, God. Oh, look at the end. Can we try that one, John? All right, without the other stuff. Yep. <clears throat> ah, pardon my bum shoulders. Right. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Got the shorter that cuffs. Short enough, yeah. That's good. Yep. That's about where it ought to be. Oh, it, it is exactly where it ought to be. Mm. Yep. But see, these are things like, you know, these buttons back here, how they make the fabric react. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got... Uh, all that, yeah. Well, that's all buttons, too. Yeah. Wow. So, like, if you wanted to carry a sword, you can unbutton it, and your sword could protrude through oh, the back. Oh, okay. Up. How much flare we got in here? You got a good bit. Here you go. see it from the front. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah you got a lot of flare. So, well, I'll... We'll get back together on this thing tomorrow when he, when he gets all How do you like the feel of that fabric? Rigged up. Yeah, Boy, that does feel good, doesn't it? What is that, felt? No, it's a, uh, what's well, a felted a wool. wool. Yeah, it's a yeah. felted wool. And it's all hands, it's all raw edged and all hand stitched. You notice he, did, he didn't even turn it over here. You know, he, he forgot to turn it over and put a seam on it. Yep. Damn fool is cheaping us out. You see that? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks nice. Oh, well, well, yeah. Good. Even with my stylish gut that normally hates. Now this wouldn't be buttoned, would it? No, with the top. Oh, would be. Wait, but the stockings, button, Margie. Button this, yeah. Oh, I'll put them up in the warehouse. You gotta remember no, that they try. We'll get them tomorrow morning. Are you getting video? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 1080p. Uh, okay, this is uh, Commander Margie. Banks. Huh? Talking. Commander Margie Banks. Maggie yes. Banks. Oh, Maggie Banks. Maggie Banks, this Commander, another, United States uh, Navy, retired. Yeah, he just retired, but this is what she does, and she does Maybe these incredible drawings. And, yeah, this is, and they're this all is the pencil Corps. or charcoal? Pencil. Yeah, um, the girl from the Marine Corps. Really well Sarah done. He's going to be here Thursday, and uh, we're going to go over some stuff. I've got another commission to do. Rev war coats, you might get, um, get some of the reflection off. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I try to get the effect of wood cuts, or you know, just try to play around yeah. with it. Margie helped uh, make the outfit that we're going to be shooting tomorrow. Yeah, I call this one my marathon. It took me 26 hours to do this one. No it, doubt. I used to draw like that, but I, I just got away from it because I got, once I started sculpting, I could no, no longer see things two-dimensional. Yeah. But what I really loved is, is black and white. I mean, I prefer that to color because sometimes color overpowers and you, yeah. just, and you start losing details. And I had an artist. And so that's going to be it for tonight, and uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow.